Life is electrochemical. Electrical and chemical networks underlie every aspect of the living world, controlling every biological process, from growth to digestion, from blood flow to breathing, from speech to language, and even thought itself. When these delicate systems become disrupted by a toxin, infection, or even old age, this can cause illnesses such as addiction, depression, or Parkinson's disease. Drugs offer one way of restoring the systems to balance, but pharmaceuticals are too crude for many neurological and psychiatric diseases, causing severe side effects while only partially treating symptoms. Although there was a time when Big Pharma seemed to be winning the battle against brain disease, recent decades have yielded few effective drugs, and most Big Pharma has abandoned this area. Big Pharma is currently doing very little to address disease of the nervous system. They have tried over the past few decades using approaches that focus on, on, on the chemical side of things, and they've neglected the electrical side. Yet, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Over the past few decades, progress in computing hardware has enabled devices to correct defective neuronal circuits, offering a novel and highly effective therapeutic approach with minimal side effects. This approach, known as bioelectric medicine, has already helped hundreds of thousands of patients with debilitating movement disorders such as Parkinson's disease and essential tremor. But applications go well beyond movement disorders, and experts agree that the 21st century is set to become the age of bioelectric medicine. Furthermore, an emerging generation of non-invasive devices requiring no surgery promises to make bioelectric medicine truly scalable. We're a very exciting time now for bioelectrical medicine where we've started using it for things like movement disorders, but this really only proves to show how powerful and effective the therapy can be. And there are going to be all number of uh, uses in the future, whether it's to help treat mood disorders like depression, or even move on to things like blood pressure or heart rate problems, diabetes. The possibilities really are endless. Despite the immense progress in hardware, bioelectric software development has not kept pace. Without the right software tools, clinicians cannot translate the binary code of computers into the neural code of biology, preventing proper communication with neuronal circuits and limiting treatment to blind trial and error. Due to this limitation, today, many patients get little or no benefit from bioelectric devices. Essentially, we have a very powerful cars, like Ferrari cars, but uh, we uh, still uh, drive them like they are small cars. So what we need is a tool that allows us to drive the Ferrari like a Ferrari. And now, this is changing. Machine medicine is building the software and gathering the data needed to drive bioelectric medicine into a new era of mechanistic understanding and data-driven personalization. By capturing, combining, and interpreting relevant data, we are cracking the neural code, enabling artificial systems to speak the language of the nervous system, correcting the pathological circuits underlying disease, and restoring bioelectric networks to health. One of the key goals here is to build a movement disorder platform that is the most complete in the world and also the most intelligent in the world. Data is captured through everyday smart devices in the clinic and the home and synced securely to the cloud. Once in the cloud, it is processed and presented to the clinician through intuitive and AI-enabled software. And it gets augmented with our machine learning algorithms and then fed back to the clinicians where they can analyze it, give further ratings, and then go back to the patients with potential treatment. So machine medicine software in the field of this studying the movement disorder patients is, as far as I know, unique in that it gives us extremely rich data on the movements of the patients. In particular, what it does is it gives us a, a measurement of the movements in the way the clinicians need them and want them and are able to understand them, which means that they are providing data that's already validated and able to use directly in all the machine learning um, approaches we want to take. Machine medicine technologies and its platform, Kelvin, is here to provide that standard for clinicians to capture data. And for example, in Parkinson's disease, it would be relevant because as early as we detect it, then we can stop progression or slow down progression of Parkinson's disease. Kelvin is in use at numerous deep brain stimulation centers across the globe, including major US sites such as UCLA, Baylor, and Mount Sinai, and supports clinical trials in the US, UK, and mainland Europe. Machine Medicine is the recipient of two grants from Innovate UK worth over $3 million and has the backing of premium venture capital such as Entrepreneur First and SOSV. 
On the back of this support, and bolstered by seven-figure revenues from enterprise customers in the drug and device space, Machine Medicine has built a company and culture of unrivaled scientific, technical, and commercial ambition. I get to work with a very motivated and passionate team of other software developers and engineers, and we enjoy integrating uh, the output from the data science team into our uh, products to create various AI-powered tools that actual users in the clinical space can utilize every day. Today, Machine Medicine's video and AI-enabled software platform, Kelvin, has already benefited thousands of patients. In terms of what the future holds for Machine Medicine, we feel we've come so far, but there remains so much to do. Ultimately, what we hope to deliver is a software and data layer for the personalized uh, delivery of bioelectric therapeutics to hundreds of millions of people uh, who suffer from these neurological, psychiatric, and, and indeed many other diseases of the human body.